Okay, so in the previous video, we looked at combining events um, and we used Venn diagrams. What we're going to talk about today is an alternative representation, which is a probability table, which is uh, sometimes also called a Carnot map or a two-way table. Um, and the key is, is that every all the information that can be represented in a Venn diagram, well, a Venn diagram with two circles, um, can be represented in a probability table or Carnot map. And the advantage of the probability table or Carnot map is that it also gives us room to include those totals that we had trouble having anywhere to put them in the previous video. So when we knew, for example, that there were 50 people in A, that only tells us those two numbers have to add to 50. and We don't have anywhere to put 50. Whereas in the probability table, we can put 50 in the totals um, column. So it actually makes it easier to work with um, the information, I think. Generally speaking, if if I'm tempted to draw this diagram, I'm going to stop myself and instead draw this. That would be my advice. Um, okay, so the key thing is, is that everything that can be represented in the Venn diagram can be represented in the Carnot map, and we can also include more information in the Carnot map. So in the Venn diagram, the four, we have four regions and each of them is an intersection. So the overlapping bit in the middle is obviously the intersection of A and B. Okay. Now the bit on the left here, this is all the things that are in A and not in B. So that's the intersection of A and not B. Over on the right here, this is all the things that are not in A and in B. And then outside of here, this is the things that are not in A and also not in B. So those are the four regions we've got in our Venn diagram and those four regions are represented here in the four cells in the centre of our probability table or Carnot map. So this is A and B, this is A and not B, this is not A and B, this is not A and not B. Okay. What we also have then though is room for the total of total things in A, total things not in A, total things in B, total things not in B, and therefore everything totaling to the sample space down here. Now, I've used slightly lax um, notation here, and that's because the things that we write in the table in the Venn diagram, they could either be the probability of each of those things happening, in which case the total table would add to one, or, oh, sorry, or they could be the number of things in each category. Okay, in which case the sample space would be the number of things in the sample space. Okay, um, so you can represent, you can put different information into the table, um, whether it's a sorry, whether it's probabilities or um, number of things. Um, but the key thing is, is that the table gives you more space um, in that you can include the totals and then work from there once you've got the information written into the table. Um, so as I said, um, tables would be my preference over a two circle Venn diagram. If you've got three events, A, B and C, you have to use a Venn diagram because you can't add a third side to your table. Um, let's work through some examples. So if A and B are events such that the probability of not A is 0.25, probability of not A intersection B is 0.12 and the probability of B is 0.52, find da 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 da. Okay, let's organise the information in, in a probability table. As I've mentioned previously, probability questions really are about trying to organise your information and from then all the questions should be pretty straightforward. So A could happen or not happen, B can happen or not happen. We're dealing in probabilities, so our total probabilities are going to add to 1 in the bottom right of the table. So probability of not A is 0.25, so this is 0.25 here. Probability of not A and B is 0.12, so it's 0.12 in there. And probability of B is 0.52, so that's 0.52 there. That's all we need the total and three bits of information. And then we should be able to complete the table. So if the probability of something not being in A is 0.25, then the probability is in A is 0.75. Okay, these should add to one, these should add to one. So that's 0.48 there. Okay, these probabilities should add to 0.25. Sorry. So therefore, this has to be 0.13 here. These probabilities should add to 0.48. So therefore, we can work out 0.48 minus 0.13 is 0.25. Three, five. And then these probabilities should add to 0.75 and these probabilities should add to 0.52 and hopefully that works in both directions which it does so that means we're going to need 0.4 up here. So now that we've organised the information all the questions should be easy to answer. So the probability of A is we can see 0.75 that's over here. 
probability of A and B is in here, that's 0.4. Probability of not B, uh, that's down here, it's 0.48. probability of A union B. Now let's have a look here. The union, so in the Venn diagram the union is these three areas here. Okay, so that is A union B. And so the corresponding regions in the Venn diagram are these three regions here. Okay, and so again, that would be A union B. Now the key thing is that actually the union is everything except for the things in not A and not B. So that's the other way you can do it. You can look at instead of adding up the three numbers in the union, you could do, um, in this case, if you're dealing in probabilities, one minus the things that are in not A and not B. Okay, so this is going to be one minus the probability of not A and not B, which is one minus 0.13, which is 0 0.87. And you can check that 0.4 plus 0.35 plus 0.12 is also 0.87. Okay. So the union is those all added up, um, but it's quicker to do one minus 0.13. Um, probability of not A union not B. Okay, so not A union, not B. Now, let me maybe just get rid of that highlighting from the last question. Not A union, not B would be those three there, or everything except for A and B. Okay, so this would be 1 minus the probability of A and B, which would be 1 minus 0.4, which will be 0.6. And then a union not B. The other thing you could do is use the addition rule. So you could say, let, let's maybe do that for this one. Probability of A union not B is the probability of A plus the probability of B, sorry, probability of not B. So it's the two separate things added together, but then you have to take away the intersection of those two things. So that's the other way you could do it. Probability of A is 0.75. Probability of not B is 0.48. Take away um, a intersection not B, um, which is 0.13. But just to be clear that what that's actually doing is you're adding up the probability of A, which is those two things, plus the probability of not B, which is these two things. And so you've counted the A and not B, sorry, that's not, A and not B is not 0.13, it's 0.35. You've calculated the A and not B twice, and so that's why you're taking it away. Okay. However you do it, um, the other way to think about it now that I've highlighted those regions is that it's 1 minus 0.12. Um, so it should all add up to 0.88. Okay, example two. A book is chosen at random from a bookshop. It is known that in this bookshop the probability that the book is a hardback but not a novel is 0 0.05. The probability that a book is not a hardback but is a novel is 0 0.12. The probability that a book is not a novel is 0 0.19. Find the probability that a chosen book is. Okay, so books can either be hardbacks or not hardbacks, novels or not novels, and there can be some overlap between those categories. So we can have hardback or not hardback, novel or not novel. We're dealing in probability, so our table is going to add up to 1. Probability, probability that a book is a hardback but not a novel, so is a hardback not a novel is 0 0.05, so that's that there. Probability that the book is not a hardback but is a novel, so not a hardback but is a novel is 0 0.12, so that's that down there. The probability that the book is not a novel is 0 0.19, so that's that there. So again, three bits of information in addition to the total, um, and then we should be able to fill out the whole table. Um, so looking in the not a novel column has to be 0.14 here. Adding up the not a hardback row means we get 0.26 here. Um, adding up the totals on the right hand column um, means we must have 0.74 here. Um, adding up the hardback row um, we're going to have 0.69 here. And then we should be able to check that in both directions um, it works here to say that 0.69 plus 0.12 is 0.81 and 1 minus 0.19 is also 0.81. Okay, so we've got everything we need. Probability that we have a novel, 
is the probability of a novel is 0.81. Probability that we have a hardback novel, so hardback and a novel, um, is 0.69. Probability of a hardback is 0.74. Probability that we have a novel or a hardback, so remember in maths that's the um, union, inclusive or, so novel, union, hardback. And again, remembering in the probability table, the union is those three cells there, or 1 minus 0.14. And so that's going to be 0.86. So take the time to organise your information. Answering the questions is then really efficient. All right, so exercise 9E, some practice using probability tables or Karnamaps.